What's up, YouTube? CJD here from Chris's Junkyard Designs. Uh, I figure I'd throw up some random cars I opened up today. Um, and I have a couple customs at the end for a buddy of mine. So I'll unveiling those and saying who they're for at the end of the video. So let's get through these. Um, I showed these, I think, earlier today or yesterday in a video that I got in a mail call. So I figured I'd show them loose. So you guys could see them. Um, first one up is a Cadillac 16. Um, I like this casting. Uh, doesn't have any details on this one, which is disappointing, but just on the side. So I might have to do something about that, especially in the back. But it's a really cool casting. It's really long. I think it's pretty awesome looking. So I like Cadillac, so it's pretty cool. Just nice gloss red. The wheels are eh, not the greatest either, but... It's still pretty cool. Yeah, just gloss red. Alright, next up is the... Um, what's this thing called again? Rapid Response. This one is awesome. I love collecting this casting. I have a bunch of different variations. This is definitely my favorite so far. Um, beautiful red color with the red wheels and the gold. Awesome looking. Great detail on the side, just the front and the back, of course, have nothing, but that's easy to fix. But beautiful um, variation. I really like this one. <clears throat> Collect a bunch of different kind of fire trucks and emergency vehicles. First aid, 822 emergency unit. Really cool. Like the gold base. Plastic base. But it's really cool. I like it. Okay, next up we got this red edition 32 Ford that I was waiting to get for a while. Finally got her in the collection. Early times. Beautiful white color. The red wheels. I think it has a red interior, too. Uh, chrome interior. Sorry, it's got red glass. Makes it look red. <clears throat> but really cool. Love my 32 Fords. Really glad I got this one. Closer look. It's a little rough in the back on this one, but it's okay. Awesome car. This one's really awesome, too. This neat streeter. This is an awesome variation of this. This was from that road tripping, tripping series. Um, Ghost Town, New Mexico. This one. This beautiful matte black. I love the graphics on the top of this. Um, size, I really don't care, but I love the, the way they did the top. And the hood on here is awesome with the matte black. The wheels look good. And, of course, this is a metal body, metal base. <clears throat> Just a beautiful car. And nicely done. Nice. Chrome interior. Really nice. Next one up is the one I got from Charles. Diecast Garage. The So Fast. Another matte black. Um, metal base on this one as well. This is a cool variation. I think I only have one other variation of this. If I even have one. I don't know. This might be my only one. But this is really cool looking. Casting. I like it. It looks fast. Definitely like the dual exhaust coming out the back there. It's awesome. Wheels are a pretty good choice for this car. <clears throat> nice car. I'm glad he sent it to me. It looks good in the collection. A heavy car. This metal base for being small. It's still pretty heavy. Really nice. 
Okay, next we got some Matchbox. This is a BW Transporter Crew Cab. Um, I love this casting. It's a nice casting. Um, I should show you guys the one I customized a little bit, but I didn't bring it out. Um, I left the paint originally. I just threw some John Deere stickers on it and detail this up. There's a lot of detailing on here you can do. And it looks really good when you're done. <clears throat> but it's a cool little casting. I like it. I think this is my third one, third or fourth one of this. I love the wheels on it that they did in white. I think it looks perfect with this. You can see there's lots of little things you can detail on our little handles and rails and all sorts of stuff. Even in the back, look at all that. So when you do it up, it looks really good. Fun casting to mess around with. Really like it. This one's a very beautiful casting. It's a 41 Cadillac convertible coupe. A matchbox in the Cadillac series. This color is beautiful. Mm. When I polished her up, looks really good. Way better out of the package. Looks really good. <clears throat> really glad I got this one. I have an extra, I think, of these, of the yellow one I would like to do a custom on. It's a beautiful car to do a custom on. <clears throat> yep, show you that blue. Look at this blue. Beautiful blue. It's dark blue. Beautiful lines on this car. I don't need cars like this anymore. Interior is pretty good detail. I like it. I don't like how you see the floor, but to the bottom of the casting, but that's okay. Look at that. Really nice. Beautiful car. Okay, next up is the 79 Ford Capri from Ashbox. This is an awesome color, too. I like this one. I like this one better than the gray one that first came out. This is really nice. This green color with the green interior, awesome. I think the wheels look really good on it. They did some headlight detail, which is nice. And due to taillights, though, they went with the side details instead. But it's an easy fix. Really nice casting. Really nice. Nice, look at that. Nice color. You can see the green interior, right hand drive. Love it. And we get this matchbox, the 70 El Camino. This thing is freaking awesome. This is way better when I took it out of the package. Definitely going to detail this one up. This is beautiful, this car. What a shine this car has. And I was going to clear coat, but I don't have to. This thing's perfect. I'm just going to detail the headlights and the taillights, and that's it. Beautiful car. Do that emblem in the front, and this is going to be perfect. No need to do anything else to it. I like the red windshield on this. I think it looks awesome. The only thing I like is the white bed. But I guess what other color are you going to go with? It could have just been black, but it would have been plain, I guess. It's really cool. Beautiful gloss black finish on here. Spider decal in the front, Matchbox, the Widow, Black Widow, says Matchbox in the back, love the wheels, in red, love it, same on the other side, the Widow, what a beautiful car, and I think I showed you this loose before, but I'll throw it on turn to you get a better look, I polished her up too, this GTX is very beautiful car. With the um, real riders on it. 71. Beautiful car. <clears throat> love this car. God, I'd love to own one of those. Look at that car. Mm. Very nicely done car. Okay, next up is the two customs that I made 
Um, first up, it's a 56 Ford. Um, it's got the color changing paint on it. And I use these vinyl strips that I I got a tip from um, watching Diecast Resurrection. He used these. And they're for women's fingernails, I guess. It's like some kind of design they put on their fingernails, I guess. But I think it looks pretty cool. It was tough to get to used to using. Um, you got to stick it on there really good. And um, it, it flays around a lot. So he makes it look like it's nothing to put on. But it was a little tough for me. So especially around the curves. But it sticks right on there. You clear coat over it. None of it came up. It look, I think it looks good. Um, hopefully who I'm sending this to really likes it. So it's the first time I've ever done it. So. Um, came out good it's got the color shift blue paint on it i put the blue flames on it hoosier stickers on the sides i didn't go too crazy i don't want to do too much stuff on it um details on the back um, detail on the front did some on the bottom there's a metal base um, and real riders of course the inside's detailed all up but you can't hardly see it on here it's all blue and black interior to match so i made like a set i tried to make like a set i wanted to do the same exact rims on this car too but i didn't have any more i thought i had four more i only have two more these are those rims off of that um that six wheel highway hauler that came out recently the marvel one or whatever the heck it was i bought a bunch of them and i've been using them like crazy so i thought i had four i don't so I went with another thing of rims. I think it still looks good, but I wanted it to be more of a matching set. So it looked the same, but details on the engine is done up to black, the gold, the red, all done up. And this is the other one. This is a this is an older casting. This thing was beat to crap. Uh, I don't think it says what it is on here. I forgot what it's called. But it's that pickup with the two motorcycles in the back. I cannot get these motorcycles to sit straight. The plastic is just messed up on it. That's the best I could get it. But she's all detailed up. Same paint. Same flames. Um, I didn't do the striping on this. I was trying to get it on there, but it just didn't look right on this casting. I thought it looked better on the other one, so I didn't do it. I just detailed the back with the, the Molotov pen. Uh, those are those tool wheels i think they're called or whatever um they're pretty cool looking but i think she came out really good um i did the gauzy on the windshield the brighten that up it had a bunch of scratches in it so i tried to get them all out best i could um, bikes are completely detailed up blue and gold and some chrome with the big intensity markers Back's done up. The flames, the exhaust pipes are done. Who's your sticker in the back of this one too? So it would bring it out like a set. You can't really see it, but it's there. Um, got the one on the front. Did the headlights up. The bumpers are in chrome. This was a chrome base. I stripped it off and spray painted it black. Did some details underneath. Um, well, I think she came out good. So it's a matching set. And this is going to you, Tom, at Caliber 50 Customs. Um, you guys got to give him a follow. He does awesome customs. Um, he made an awesome custom for me. He designed my logo for me. Um, came up with the name and designed my logo. So I'm really appreciative of that. I've been wanting to make him a custom for a while. Um... But other things popped up and everything like that. And I finally got him in. I got the Porsche build done. I got the Four Horsemen build done. I had a few days off from work because my car was messed up. So I got caught up on a lot of customs. Finally got some good weather. So I was able to get these done. So, Tom, I really hope you like these. Um, I'll be sending them out this week with some other castings in there that I think you'll like. And a little care package there. Um Thanks for all the great videos you put out. Thanks for all the awesome builds you make for everybody. Every month he's giving a build away. Um, great guy. He's a good friend of mine. I talk to him a lot. 
message him a lot. So really like um, going over stuff with him. He helps me when I have a question about customizing and that. He's helped me a few times already. So great guy. You guys got to give him a follow. Caliber 50 Customs. Um, so these will be coming out your way, Tom. I hope you like them. Everybody, thanks again for supporting my channel on here and on Instagram. And have a great night.